here is a case of unusual presentation of bilateral hutch diverticulum in the bladder with left sided obstructed ureter and right sided reflux 3 years old male baby recurrent uti for 2 months bilateral bladder hutch diverticuli left obstructed maga ureter and right grade 2 vur mcug is the primary investigation we have done after the uti which shows bilateral diverticulae with a non trabeculated bladder and urethra normal we have done mr urogram to delineate the left ureter properly and it showed clearly obstructed mega ureter and left sided dtps scan has decreased function now the cystoscopy has shown the left sided hutch diverticulum and now the right sided diverticulum is also seen like this we concentrated on the left side because patient is symptomatic with uti and decreased function on the left side that's why we first used a nephroscope 12 french uh, for inspecting the bladder wherein the left side arch diverticulum is small and identification of the urethric orifice took time as expected it was on the medial wall of the arch diverticulum like this we identified with termo guide wire repeatedly pressing on the mucosa then ureteric catheter is kept and rgp is done to demonstrate the obstructive component of the lower ureter once again so ultimately left obstructive ureter is confirmed and these are the port positions to go into the abdomen laparoscopically large almost looking like intestine this is a bladder edge of the bladder this is the obstructed ureter this is a vas so we used initially caesar main important is we have made peritoneal cutting on either side of the like this on either side of the vas so that it is completely released this is a primary step in any repair of the lower ureter in relation to the bladder now entire surgery we kept an eye on the shiny uh, vas now as i come down i expect a non peristaltic obstructed uh, lower ureter which is this and with dilated proximal segment so our obstructed mega ureter is very obvious uh, on table and we have taken precaution that we have not gone posterior to the ureter because in future you may require opposite side also surgery lateral to the bladder with lot of difficulty we identified pale uh, uh, mucosa like in hernia sac and ultimately this is very small even with distension of the bladder it was not becoming prominent ultimately extremely lateral and posteriorly this mucosa is identified which is opened at the mouth of the diverticulum and now the diverticulum is divided from the bladder before complete division along with the ureter we have taken bite only thing is that because we were using uh, the 10 mm port we could take advantage of the 20 vicral even though 20 vicral needle is big in children but it is a round body non traumatic needle very user friendly in deep cavities to rotate and do proper air tight closure of the bladder we have done careful closure of the Uh, bladder which is opened at the bladder bladder uh, diverticulum neck even though it is uh, very small we have uh, we have uh, done meticulously and in fact we filled the bladder and then did the uh, closure properly after that the ureter is separated the one more thing what we have done is not cutting the ureter in at this part of the surgery because it will continuously contaminate the uh, field with urine so we made first tunnel this is the last bite of the diverticular region now we mobilized the ureter in an avascular plane avoiding the vascular uh, supply injury and then just at the level of the peritoneum we separated the ureter so that it will have plate to get implanted into the bladder now we left the ureter like that without opening the ureter we mobilized the bladder in standard fashion for the ureteric reimplantation so we have not cut the ureter at this stage ureteric mobilization was not difficult because it is not previously operated 
and bladder has come easily to the psoas. This is the psoas muscle fibers. The two stage, stage stitches are taken on the psoas with again 20 same needle, which is very convenient to rotate and put because there is enough space available and non traumatic round body needle. After two uh, uh, the fixations with psoas each, lot of uretric length was available. If you see here, now at this stage we made a tunnel first than uretric tapering because it will contaminate the field as I told previously. Now tunnel, uh, we have done wide tunnel because naturally obstructed mega ureter even after tapering will be little thick only. So we have tunneled on both the sides so that ureter can properly go into the tunnel. We have taken time, used a, a new scissor without a, a very sharp end. Very sharp scissor at the end can perforate and uh, open the bladder mucosa, which may make the subsequent tunnel difficult. So as much as po possible, uh, distend the bladder uh, maximum in the beginning and then empty the bladder to make a proper tunnel. Other side of the uh, detrusor is also released from the mucosa so that proper tunnel like this is formed. Now ureter is uh, uh, released completely up to the sacroiliac joint because tapering has to be done up to that level and now ureter is cut so that it gets emptied like this and extra ureter is kept by the side so that at the end it can be removed. Now some more ureteric release is done carefully avoiding cutting the vessels. Now this is the mesenteric, uh, 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 the peritoneal part of the sigmoid column attached to the ureter. Now ureter anteriorly is cut vertically approximately uh, 10 French to 12 French ureter is made here. The tapering is uh, done up to the sacroiliac joint level and the redundant ureter is kept side. Again 20 needle is used vicryl to suture because it is easy to handle and becomes faster so that anesthesia duration can be reduced. Careful 3 mm breadth bites are taken and careful falling of the thread is also ensured so that uh, leak from this long closure of the ureter can be avoided. For every five bites, one knotting is done so that it gives more secure closure of the opened ureter. Ureteric edges for bleeding, ureteric wall. This is a stay stitch uh, which is kept so that disparity will not come with another needle we have taken. In a long length ureter sometimes disparity will come like in open surgery. After that continued again from proximal to distal till the stay stitch. After that reassessment of the length of the ureter towards the bladder. Now we have not even opened the bladder. Every time contamination with urine can be avoided with these steps. Now we approximately seen where is the tunnel distal end. And now uh, closure of the ureter is done only up to that level. Otherwise it is time waste. Now the closure of the ureter is done up to this level and then spatulation done. Redundant uh, extra part of the ureter again excised. Normally in this convoluted obstructed mega ureter lot of extra length will be there in children which is not necessary. It can be cut and removed. Now see this is the extra ureter because uh, uh, posterior spatulation type we have done and now ureter is coming nicely to the bladder in a collapsed bladder. In a collapsed bladder now we have incised the ureter and extended initial incision so that our aim is not to produce obstructive ureter anymore on this side. Now we have taken again with 2-0 we initially thought we will use 30, but the ureter and bladder were large, thick tissues, so that this suture helped to do faster and precisely. Now, apex bite is taken comfortably. 
here this is important step because this will give the results uh, properly in the entire surgery after this uh, uh, the left side of the ureter and mucosa is sutured first left side means away from the surgeon side so that it is difficult initially you can rotate the ureter and do it easily after that right side is done in a continuous fashion identifying the mucosa of the both the tissues ureter as well as the bladder carefully now this is the end of the left side part of the ureter now the suction cannula comes from the suprapubic region directly into the ureter and stent is kept in no time and left hand is used to put the stent into the bladder now from the apex to distally we used a, a pds suture here 30 because we were doing continuously we used pds here pds needle is also 30 is good needle non -cut, non uh, cutting it is sharp small needle but round round body needle one of the most commonly used suture in reconstruct you know because of this uh, very thin needle and sharp needle without tapering taper cut either reverse or forward unlike in monocryl now this is the anchor stitch with the detrusor like in transplant so that the ureter goes and properly anchors to the bladder after this uh, initially we thought ureter may be big but uh, we have done adequate uh, tunneling four stitches uh, nicely uh, made the tunnel where the ureter has gone inside and properly sit without see we are lifting like this every time so that some space is there between the ureter and the detrusor like this we are lifting and it is not compressing every time we have taken bite we have not gone deep in the groove we have taken only detrusor as it was mobilized adequately on either side in mega ureters this is a uh, important step because tunnel if it is tight ureter may get obstructed and the primary purpose of surgery may not be served now in between bite is also taken usually uh, 2 to 3 cm or 4 to 5 bites are sufficient to make it non reflexive a lot of peritoneum is left behind the ureter that's why it is looking thick otherwise it, it was emptying with peristalsis easily stent is in position drain cap this is the port positions we have used four ports to conclude bilateral hutch diverticulum is rare reflux on one side and obstructed ureter ab ab mega ureter is still rare first we have operated on the obstructive mega ureter because that function of the kidney is decreasing we uh, could not do direct detrusography because in obstructed mega ureter you have to disconnect and then we have done uh, modified ledge crea re implantation into the bladder after making adequate tunnel and uh, the right side hutch diverticulum and reflux can be tackled later on if necessary patient post operatively is doing well discharged thank you